You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. Today, I want to talk to you about all the factions and forces targeting Sonny Corinthos on top of this mental health spiral he's going through. And I just wonder if he's going to get a get out of jail free pass because of what's happening with his bipolar disorder. Let's dig into this mess and some big hints the ABC soap has dropped about how he might get away with his crimes. But first, please subscribe if you have not. Okay. So after many, many, many years of watching Sonny get away with a variety of crimes up to and including murder, I feel like right now is the most at risk that Sonny has been in terms of criminal prosecution. Way, way, way back in the day, you probably remember Marcus Taggart making it his mission to take Sonny down and see him locked up for life, but Taggart never could make it work. Nothing ever seemed to stick to the Teflon. Don. And even when the cops managed to finally lock Sonny in Pentonville for murdering A.J. Quartermain, he weaseled his way out of it. Remember, he escaped from prison, but he wound up saving a bunch of lives. That was when Drew Kane, who was played by Billy Miller at the time, had planted a bomb on the Haunted Star on the orders of Helena Cassidy. And you may remember that the governor granted Sonny a pardon for risking his life because he got the bomb jumped into the harbor, the bomb went off, and it saved so many lives. Since that prison stint and he got the the pardon, Sonny has committed many other crimes, but he hasn't been nailed for any of them. But right now, I think he is at serious risk of going down for good, going to prison for a very long time. Not only is the PCPD after him, but the FBI is in Port Charles, and John Jagger Cates hates Sonny for what he did to Karen. Karen Wexler and Mayor Laura Collins is encouraging her brother Cyrus Renault to press charges on Sonny for assault. Meanwhile, Police Chief Anna Devane also wants to take Sonny down and hopes new cop Dex Heller can help her do it. So we've got the mayor, the local cops, and federal law enforcement all keeping a close watch on Sonny Corinthos right now. And it's a bad time because the bosses at Pikeman want him out of the way. You know, the Pikeman people tried three times to kill Sonny and it hasn't worked out. Once on the Metrocourt roof, once in Puerto Rico, and once recently at that warehouse. So then we found out from Valentin Cassadine talking to Jack Brennan that he has the pharmacy tampering with Sonny's bipolar medication. So that means that at the same time the mob boss is under increased law enforcement scrutiny He's making rash decisions and spiraling out of control because of this medication thing. And it seems like Valentin has been swapping his meds for quite a while. When Sonny beat up Cyrus in the church, you know, he was all upset about Nina Reeves. And to be fair, Cyrus did provoke him. He was cruising for a bruising, basically. But then when Sonny ordered Dex to kill Cyrus at the hospital, that was also while Sonny was under the influence of placebos instead of his standard mental meds. I don't know if you know this about antidepressants and some of these medications, but a lot of times it takes a couple of weeks for them to fully go into effect and you you get the full response. And likewise, if you stop taking them, it can take several weeks for them to get out of your system. And in the case of Sonny, where he's taking this decreasing dosage, the, the spiral, it, it can be more subtle and it can take a while. So it looks like Valentin has been messing with his meds since around December based on their conversation. So, you know, Dex realized that it was a terrible idea when Sonny told him to kill Cyrus, but couldn't talk him out of it. Sonny wouldn't listen. You know, think about all the bad decisions Sonny is making right now. He's convinced himself that Jason Morgan's betrayed him with very little evidence to support it. Similarly, he decided Carly Spencer's not to be trusted either. So he's rejecting and raging at both of them. Meanwhile, he's got a viper under his roof, sharing his meals and his scotch. Sonny really thinks that Ava Jerome is one of the few people he can trust. Crazy, right? He feels betrayed by Dex. And then that gets worse this week when Sonny finds out that Dex is pursuing a career change into law enforcement. I'm worried Sonny's going to take out a hit on him. And he already threatened to have Jason killed if he gets in his way. Sonny is handing out death threats 
death, death threats, <laughs> like business cards at a networking brunch. Just death threat for you, for you. Death threats for everybody, you know. So here's what I wonder. You know, we've got two other Port Charles criminals getting redemption arcs right now. First, we have Cyrus out of prison on that medical release, thanks to now dead Austin. And Cyrus actually seems to be redeemed to some extent, living on the straight and narrow, so much so that Laura is letting him around her adopted son, little Ace Cassidyne, and she's even talking Cyrus up to Jordan and encouraging Cyrus to press charges against Sonny. Later this week, it seems Sonny will indeed go on the record with a complaint against the mobster that beat him because he goes to see Anna to talk about it. On top of the Cyrus thing, we have lunatic Heather Weber getting some sort of redemption action, and it's her case that might offer some foreshadowing about Sonny's future. You know, Laura, Kevin, and Alexis all seem to think that Heather's recent hook killer convictions might be mitigated or maybe overturned by the reveal that she wasn't in her right mind. She had metallosis, like heavy metal poisoning, because her replacement hip joint was leaching metal into her body. And that type of poisoning can affect your brain, your neurology. It can damage your brain, impair your judgment, make you do crazy things, violent things. To be fair, Heather's been a nutter with a history of violent actions long before she got her hip replaced, so I don't think she should get out of prison, my two cents. But I just wonder if they're talking about her mental state as an excuse for her crimes just to foreshadow and set the stage for Sonny Corinthos to get a pass on his string of criminal actions because he's out of his mind and unknowingly and intentionally off of his meds. On this week's episodes, Ava hears back back from the lab where she sent a couple of Sunny's pills. So she's going to get a call from them with the info about the meds. I'm expecting she's going to find out they're a placebo, no real pharmaceuticals in them. I think Valentine said that about three fourths of the bottle were just placebo sugar pills and only about one fourth was the real deal. So Sunny's not totally off the drugs, but getting such a low dose that it's sending him into this gradual spiral. Valentine's plan is pretty brilliant. He knows knows Sonny will go into a mental decline, but won't realize it because he still thinks he's taking his pills. Remember, even Jason asked Sonny the other day, are you taking your pills? And it really ticked him off, but then he insisted that he was. So in the end, here, here's my two burning questions. One, is Ava going to tell Sonny that something is off with his meds so that she can help him? Or will she leave him in the dark and take advantage so that she can keep getting closer to him because she's got this inappropriate crush? Second question, could this medicine tampering be used as a defense in court? Alexis Davis is about to get her law license back and she plans to go into practice with Diane Miller. Given what Alexis was saying about Heather's mental state, it sounds like a similar argument could be made about Sonny's bad deeds. And between her and Diane, I bet they could get the charges dropped on some court sort of medical malady thing. You know, Diane got Franco exonerated because of that tiny tumor they took out of him. She even brought it to court in the bottle to enter into evidence. If you remember that, it was really good courtroom scenes. So I'm just wondering if the FBI and the PCPD are going to have to suck up a loss in court because charges against Sonny won't stick thanks to Valentine's sabotage plan causing a mental spiral. Let me know what you think in the comments. Comments, plus subscribe if you have not and definitely come back soon we're here talking gh seven days a week on your number one soap spoilers channel and as always it's belinda from soap dirt thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more 